Zhao Liying's recent ordeal has been quite unfortunate. Every word of Mali's acceptance speech seemed to hit the nail on the head, revealing the harsh realities of the entertainment industry. Meanwhile, Wang Yubo transforms into a factory worker of the last century as the pursuit of the wind debuts on Zhejiang Satellite TV today. The recent spotlight on Zhao Liying's situation highlights the darker side of the entertainment industry, where misunderstandings and misinterpretations can quickly escalate. Mali's speech, seemingly innocuous on the surface, subtly pointed fingers and sparked controversies that engulfed Zhao Liying unfairly. On the other hand, the pursuit of the wind brings forth a different narrative, delving into the challenges faced by individuals striving for success in a tumultuous era. Wang Yubo's portrayal of Wei Rule, a commoner breaking into the central bank, resonates with the struggles of many in today's society, emphasizing the timeless pursuit of dreams against all odds. The juxtaposition of these two events underscores the diverse facets of the entertainment industry and society at large. While Zhao Liying's predicament sheds light on the perils of fame and public scrutiny, the pursuit of the wind offers a glimpse into the resilience and determination needed to navigate through adversity. As viewers tune in to watch Wang Yubo's transformation into a factory worker and Zhao Liying's resilience amidst adversity, it's a poignant reminder of the complexities and challenges inherent in the pursuit of success in both real and real life. The trending topics of skilled actresses and Molly's award acceptance speech have sparked heated discussions online, with public opinion sharply divided. While Molly's accolades were celebrated, her remarks were scrutinized, leading to unwarranted criticism directed at Zhao Liying. The controversy arose from the China movie Big Data and film channel M List Honors Night Awards Ceremony. Molly, upon receiving the Best Actress Award, delivered a speech in which she humorously thanked the Big Data, jokingly remarking, I'm not one to indulge in self-promotion, nor do I understand it well. As a skilled actress, it's surprising to be recognized by Big Data in this manner, proving its authenticity. She also expressed gratitude towards director Zhang Yumu and her co-stars Lei Jiyin, Lu Yeowen, and Gao Ye. Many interpreted Molly's remarks as veiled jabs at Zhao Liying. However, upon closer examination, Molly's demeanor and tone suggested playful self-deprecation. Her comments about disliking self-promotion and the authenticity of big data were likely not aimed directly at anyone. Yet, the omission of Zhao Liying from Molly's list of thanks inevitably fueled speculation, especially given that all mentioned co-stars received awards, except for Zhao Liying. Some netizens linked this incident to the production and promotion of the 20th Rule, suggesting that during the film's release, many mistakenly believed Zhao Liying to be the lead actress, overshadowing Molly. This perspective seemed to criticize Zhao Liying's aggressive marketing, implying that Molly's onstage banter was a response to feeling overshadowed. However, such interpretations are unfair to both Molly and Zhao Liying. Molly's acceptance speech, with its references to promotion and data, likely aimed to fit the event's theme. Furthermore, her acknowledgement of the director and co-stars is standard practice and shouldn't be overanalyzed. Similarly, Zhao Liying's supposed over-marketing should not detract from her dedication to her craft. The crux of the matter lies in the influence of online popularity. In The Twentieth Rule, Zhao Liying portrays a tragic character, showcasing her acting prowess. However, her status in the entertainment industry brought attention to the film, sometimes overshadowing Molly. This imbalance highlights the double-edged nature of popularity and its impact on artistic integrity. Moreover, those who excessively criticize Molly's acceptance speech or misinterpret Zhao Liying's marketing efforts are biased against Zhao Liying, overlooking her talent and hard work. They should reassess their perspectives and acknowledge the actor's professionalism. 
This minor controversy sheds light on the harsh realities of the entertainment industry. The fact that it has sparked such intense debate underscores the need for directors and actors to address such issues transparently. Molly's decision not to defend Zhao Liying, despite acknowledging other colleagues, raises questions about solidarity within the industry, warranting further reflection. Returning to Molly's acceptance speech, her remarks about promotion and data were clearly tailored to fit the theme of Chinese movie Big Data, hence her humorous comment about real data. As for her expressions of gratitude towards the creators, there is little room for speculation or over-interpretation. From a character perspective, Molly primarily interacts with Lei Jiyin and Lu Yeowen as part of a family unit in the 20th Rule, with a few scenes involving Gao Ye as well, in addition to her collaboration with director Zhang Yumu. Thanking these individuals is entirely appropriate. In terms of the live situation, acknowledging those present is standard practice, and Molly did not overlook those absent either. She expressed gratitude to both the onstage and behind-the-scenes collaborators, demonstrating no oversight on her part. It's clear that netizens have indeed overanalyzed the situation. Ultimately, it seems that the root cause of the issue lies in the concept of popularity. In the case of the 20th rule, Zhao Liying portrays the tragic character of Hao Xiaoping, who suffers abuse and mistreatment. Despite her significant role, her screen time is slightly less than Gao Yes, demonstrating Zhao Liying's dedication to her craft and desire to portray her character convincingly. However, Due to her prominence in the entertainment industry, Zhao Liying inadvertently brought attention to the film, leading to disruptions caused by fan discussions about her role and lack of lines in the movie. The double-edged nature of popularity is evident here, as it both brings attention to the film and contributes to controversies. Furthermore, those who excessively interpret Molly's acceptance speech and misinterpret Zhao Liying's marketing efforts are biased against Zhao Liying, focusing solely on her popularity rather than acknowledging her acting skills. They should reassess their views and recognize the actor's dedication and talent. This incident highlights the harsh realities of the entertainment industry. The fact that it has generated such intense debate underscores the need for transparency and communication from directors and actors. Molly's decision not to defend Zhao Liying, despite acknowledging other colleagues, raises questions about solidarity within the industry and warrants further consideration. The Republican-era financial espionage drama The Pursuit of the Wind, starring Wang Yubo, Li Qin, and Wang Yang, will debut on Zhejiang Satellite TV's Chinese Blue Theater at 19.30 today. Set against the backdrop of 1930s Shanghai, the series tells the story of Wei Rulei, a grassroots youth who remains true to his principles amidst turbulent times and ultimately establishes his beliefs after enduring numerous trials. From the shanty towns of Kaibao Street to the bustling securities exchange of Xiliang Cheng, from private bank acquisition plans to tariff reform controversies, the series, through Wei Rulei's perspective, faithfully reconstructs the old Shanghai, unveiling the corruption and darkness lurking beneath its prosperity. In times of turmoil, where should one stand? The climax of the series comes with the counterfeit money case, where the mentor and disciple find themselves at odds, leading to a physical confrontation. Wei Rulei never expected Shen Tunan, played by Wang Yang, to shield wrongdoers for the sake of power. The extinguishing of the guiding light leaves him momentarily lost in confusion. The fate of each character is inexorably tied to the guiding light of their beliefs and the baptism of the era's tides. As the plot progresses, audiences will continue to follow the choices and evolving relationships of Wei Rulei, Shen Jinzen, played by Li Qin, Shen Tunan, and others, witnessing their individual growth. Factory Worker embarks on a journey of pursuit. As tonight's story begins, 
the impoverished young man Wei Rule enters the central bank based on his own merits, becoming a factory worker, despite lacking a wealthy family background, his remarkable calculation abilities and memory leave a strong impression on Shen Tunan. During the exam, when faced with a large fire, his strong willpower and kind-hearted character not only enable him to complete the written test but also rescue an elderly woman in danger, distinguishing himself from the crowd of applicants. With ideals in his heart as if wearing armor, the interview segment marks the beginning of Wei Rule's career advancement. As a contemporary of those from nearly a century ago, Wei Rule's journey of exploration mirrors the process of many young people entering society, striving for progress, and setting goals. We believe that viewers can find inspiration from his journey of pursuit. Tonight at 19.30 on Zhejiang Satellite TV's Chinese Blue Theater, the Republican-era financial espionage drama The Pursuit of the Wind awaits. Stay tuned.